Just uh, spreading some news out there as uh, we start to ramp back up and as we enter into the fall. Looks like they're going to try to do this shit yet again. And a lot of you crackheads are going to fall for it. Yes, it's 10 seconds within the segment. I've already called someone a crackhead. Nonetheless, National Geographic covered the other day that uh, uh, there's a fucking deer, bro, uh, with that, that a deer that had coronavirus. Uh, not a deer, multiple deer. I forget deer is plural. Found with coronavirus antibodies. New study detected coronavirus antibodies. So that's important. It's not the rapid test. I guess they weren't sticking the shit up the nose of the uh, of the of the deer. It was more of well, they they found the antibodies within their blood. White-tailed deer, a species found in every U.S. state except Alaska appear to be contracting the coronavirus in the wild, according to the first study to search for evidence of an outbreak in wild deer. Research of the U.S. Department of Agriculture analyzed blood samples. So there was blood samples from 600 deer in Michigan, Illinois, New York, Pennsylvania over the past decade. And they discovered that 40 percent, 40 percent of the uh, 152 wild deer tested from January through March 21st, oh, excuse me, March 2021, had antibodies of SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, another three deer from January 20 uh, also had the antibodies. So 40% of the deer tested, so that's 142, 152, 40% of that tested positive um, in that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to continue reading. I'm not giving you my email address. Well, that fucking sucks. Well, can't read it. They don't want me to read it. It's one of those. I, what's, what's this, when did National Geographic start doing this? Well, it's like, okay, you got to enter your email address in order to, all right, whatever. We got the we got the bulk of the information. The, the main thing that we need to discuss is that, yeah, animals got it. A- animals got it now what thomas massey brings up a good point and he said that and it, that okay when we talk about the effectiveness of vaccines let's talk about what this shit is doing covid is moving all right let's i'm not saying that it is though the who the people that the youtube overlords told us to listen to General Tedro said that they shouldn't have wrote off the idea of a lab leak initially, right? But at minimum, so if it came from an animal, went to per, per people, then went back to the animals, I don't know what that order was. Not important. What we do know is if this is true, then the virus, is COVID, is able to move from species to fucking species. So with that being said, how fucking effective are, the, are, are as we talk about vaccines going into the future as the end all, which is basically why it's such a frustrating conversation to have, because people discuss it as if it's basically you got it. That'll kill off this whole entire deal and get us back to returning to some sort of normalcy. If it's doing all of that, are we sure about that? Um, but like Massey also mentioned the uh, serological study of deer the, uh, by the USDA is more comprehensive and granular than anything the CDC has published for the people, for people basically saying that hell it was more straightforward, more understanding and more uh, legit. This fucking study on the deer than that. And then it has been with the CDC and the people CDC, they use mannequins and shit, uh, <laughs> but no, seriously, it's moving from species to species. Now this is deer. I'm sure they're probably doing other studies to see what's going on. I thought there was a case to where oh, the dogs couldn't get it. Maybe maybe we need to revisit that. But it's jumping from species to species. If we're talking vaccines, man, are we are we sure that that's the end all? And are we sure are we sure that if it's doing that, this is something that is going to be able to uh, be 
uh, um, mitigated like that. Uh, maybe there is going to need to be some sort of natural immunity that takes place in order um, for us to get it to a, a, a minimum, if you will. I don't know. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at YouTube.com slash Young 59 and follow us over at Odyssey.com slash at Young 59 If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit ForCanonSake.com.